Hello everyone. Welcome back to our Equine Readers Club. We are in the pasture known here as Comedy Central. This is because these mules are very, very funny characters, aren't you, Henry? Today is a very special reading day because the book I'm reading is a special tribute to the author who wrote the book, Where is Emma? Ellie Williams was not just any author and the book, Where's Emma? is not just any book. Ellie Williams is a friend to our founder, Susan Wagner, and she is an advocate for all equines. The reason this is such a special story is because this is a true story, yes, <laughs> about a wonderful mammoth mule named Emma. Ellie Williams and Susan Wagner saved Emma and a few other mules and brought them here to equine advocates. Um, Emma went to live with Ellie Williams and in turn, we now get to enjoy this beautiful story about the love Ellie Williams and her family had for this mammoth mule named Emma. Miss Williams, I hope that you can join us today and I would love uh, to say thank you for all you have done for equines. You have made a difference in this world and we can't thank you enough for being such a very special friend to equine advocates and for allowing us the pr privilege of sharing your story with others. I hope that you feel honored by our reading today and as you can see here, I'm ready to go and get started and hopefully Henry will enjoy the story too, right? Okay. <laughs> all right, everyone, let's get started. We're going to read the book, Where is Emma? by Ellie Williams. My name is Brooke and I am seven years old. When school ends for the summer, sometimes I get to go visit my grandma in the country. Grandma tells me a lot of stories about when she grew up. She told me that when she was a little girl, she would visit her grandma in the country too. Every time she could, she would ride her grandpa's horse when he was plowing. They used the horse to pull the plow, to dig up the ground, to plant their vegetables and crops. Grandma has lots of horses and one of my favorites is a very special mule named Emma. Grandma says Emma got her name because she is part horse and part donkey. Emma means, am I a horse or am I a donkey? Emma used to have a very different life. Before Emma came to live with my grandma, she had to work very hard every day pulling a plow as my great grandpa's horses did. Grandma said that the people that had Emma before her were not very nice to her. With time and patience, Emma is learning to trust Grandma and me. Grandma brought Emma at an auction. It was very sad for Emma to lose all of her friends. However, Emma soon made new friends at Grandma's farm. Grandma does not make Emma work all the time either. Instead of working, Emma has lots of time to play and have fun with her new friends. Emma has many new friends and they are all different from her. Squaw is an old quarter horse that is very wise. Noble is a big black Percheron, a draft horse, who even though he is big, he's just a baby. He's just four years old. Cadbury is a real little Shetland pony who will never get any bigger. While Cadbury is small, he's very quick. Last winter, when Emma saw her friend Squaw wearing a blanket, Emma was not sure she liked it on Squaw. Maybe she had never seen a horse with a blanket on before. Squaw wished Emma would quit pulling on it. Emma's a very silly, silly mule. In the winter, when there is no grass, the horses eat grass made into big bales. Emma and her friends just eat and eat all day long. Sometimes, if the round bales don't get into Emma's field fast enough for her, she will just reach over the fence and help herself. Sometimes Emma gets into trouble with her friends. Do you ever get into trouble? Emma and Noble pushed the round bale of hay down the hill. Emma said Noble did it. Noble said Emma did it. Cadbury is Emma's pony friend and is so little he runs under her belly. Sometimes he stands on his hind legs and tries to steal Emma's halter. They really look funny when they start playing and running around like crazy. Clyde and Bonnie and Dillinger are burrows from the Grand Canyon. They do not neigh like horses. They bray like Emma. Sometimes Emma visits Clyde, the old white burrow, in his stall. She likes to sneak up on him and scare him when she pops her head over the stall. My grandma says that horses are just like me and they like to do things with their friends just like I do. Sometimes Emma and her friends need a reason to run. Mr. Stanley's tractor is very old and makes lots of noise. It makes them run and run and run. Sometimes the neighbor's sheep get into Emma's field and she has to chase them out back to their own yard. 
When Grandma first got Emma last winter, the people that had her before had shaved off her mane. Grandma is letting it grow and it sticks out all over and it looks funny. Emma gets into trouble sometimes by doing bad things. Sometimes when no one is looking, Emma likes to sneak into the feed room and knock all the lids off the feed tubes. Tubs. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> she likes to sample all the different kinds of grain. She likes to make a big mess. Even though Emma gets breakfast and dinner every day, she's always hungry for grain. Sometimes Emma hides behind the tree when we are looking for her. I wonder if she thinks that we can't see her. Grandma says horses are just like people. Some things just have to be done regularly to keep them healthy and happy. Emma has to have her feet cleaned out with a hoof pick to make sure she doesn't have any rocks stuck in her foot. I know how much it hurts when I get a stone stuck in my shoe. Emma has to have her feet trimmed every six to eight weeks by the farrier. This is the same as when I get my toenails and fingernails trimmed. Grandma says, when you take care of your horse, it is very important that you feel your horse all over to make sure they don't have any sores. Grandma checks the top of half of Emma, and my job is to check Emma's legs to make sure that she doesn't have any boo-boos. When Emma had a cut on her leg, we put medicine on it and wrapped it to keep it clean. When I cut myself, I get to wear a Band-Aid. Emma gets a Band-Aid too, but it is really, really big. Just like me, Emma had to take, has to take a bath but she gets to do it outside. We have to be very careful when we rinse her off because the water from the hose is very cold. We always start rinsing her at her feet and work up her legs to her back. Emma likes it when it is really hot outside and we have fun playing in the water. Then when we let Emma back in her field, she will always lie down and roll over onto her back and then try to roll all the way over. She's funny to watch. Of course, grandma has to shake her head because when Emma rolls, she gets all dirty again. Sometimes, Grandma lets me help brush Emma. Emma is very tall, even for a mule, but she is very kind and gentle. It is very important to use the right tools when you work with your horse. We put a halter on Emma's face that fits her. Sometimes, it is hard to find one big enough for her head. If it were too tight and small, it would hurt. We always use a lead shank to bring Emma into the paddock. We use several different kinds of brushes, a really soft one for her face and a harder one for her body and legs and a comb for her mane and tail. Emma likes to get Grandma's cat Puss Puss to lick her face after she has been brushed. We always make sure that we give Emma treats after she is a good girl. Emma gets her teeth checked by the horse dentist about every six months. The dentist will use a big file to file any sharp edges off her teeth. Filing off the sharp edges and points helps Emma grind her food better when she eats and keeps Emma from getting sores in her mouth. Although it might be what is good for her, Emma doesn't like the dentist much. Then again, I don't like going to the dentist either. Emma even has to see the horse doctor called a veterinarian from time to time. Sometimes she has to get shots like those that I do to keep her from getting sick. Emma also has to take medicine for worms like a dog or a cat, but she lets us know that it does not taste good by always making a face. The best part of the summer is when I get to ride Emma all by myself. Sometimes I ride Emma down the hill to the pond with her mule friends Marilyn and Maudie to get a drink. Sometimes Grandma lets me play dress up with Emma and put a big straw hat with flowers on, it, on her. Emma looks beautiful in her fancy hat. Emma is my friend. I can't wait until next summer when I can spend more time with Grandma and Emma again. And that is the end of this beautiful book. Ellie Williams, I want to thank you again for letting us read your beautiful story about Emma. I loved it. It was a treasure. Uh, friends at home, I would love to hear from you about what you thought about the story. Maybe you could draw us a picture of a mule and send it to us with the help of your mom and dad. Or maybe you can send us what you learned today from the book about taking care of equines. They could talk about how they go to the doctor or the dentist or whatever you learned today. We would love to hear from you. So with the help of your mom and dad, please feel free to write to us. You can send us a letter or a picture in the mail or you could email us. All right, everyone. Thanks again for joining. Have a wonderful day.